hear so many sounds in our surroundings in our daily life. When a lion roars, we hear a sound. If we pluck the string of a musical instrument, say a guitar, we hear a sound. Water pouring into a glass, bat hitting the ball, water hitting the rocks, etc. are some of the examples of different sounds. Sound plays a very important role in our life and most importantly, it helps us to communicate with each other. First, we need to understand vibration. It is to and fro or back and forth motion of an object. Anything that vibrates will produce sound. We have to learn sound can travel in which mediums? Sound requires a medium for propagation. You know that someone is standing outside your door when you hear the doorbell. The sound of the doorbell travelled to you. Can you guess how it travelled? It travelled through air. Yes, here the medium of propagation is air. Sound of the siren when the train is approaching you. Sound of glass breaking. Sound of the firecracker, etc. are some of the examples where the medium of propagation is air. Sound can also travel through solids and liquids. We place the bell in the water like this. Now keep one of your ears close to the surface of water and shake the bell inside. Yes, you do. Here, the medium of propagation is water. What instrument does the doctor use to check the rate of your heartbeat? It's called a stethoscope. Doctors place the small disc-shaped object called a turnable diaphragm against your chest. The sound of your heartbeat travels through the tube and can be heard from the two earpieces. Here, the medium of propagation is a solid. We saw that sound can travel through solids, liquids and gases. Process of Propagation of Sound When the object is vibrating, it sets the particles of the medium around into vibration. In the process, the nearest particles to the source gets displaced from their mean or equilibrium position. They start to collide with the particles adjacent to them. The adjacent particles then also get displaced from their mean positions. They in turn do the same to their neighbouring particles. This process continues in the medium till the sound reaches our ear. This is the way that sound travels through the medium. Particles of the medium are not travelling from the source to the human ear. It is the disturbance produced by a source which is travelling in the medium. Let us study this with the help of a tuning fork. As the tines of a tuning fork vibrate back and forth, they will disturb the air molecules surrounding them. These disturbances are passed on to adjacent air molecules. The continuous vibration of the tines create a series of compressions and rarefactions. The region of high pressure is experienced in places where the particles of the medium are very close to each other is known as compressions. It is denoted by C. The region of low pressure is experienced in places where the particles of medium are far apart from each other is known as rarefactions. It is denoted by R. The vacuum of outer space has no molecules and so sound waves cannot travel through space or in a vacuum. What is the frequency and amplitude of sound wave? The number of complete back and forth vibrations of a particle of the medium per unit of time is known as the frequency of waves. In other words, frequency is the number of waves reaching an observer every second. Frequency is measured in hertz or cycles per second. Wavelength is the distance between two consecutive compressions or rarefactions. A sound with a higher frequency is said to have a high pitch. On the other hand, a low frequency sound has a low pitch. A sound wave's amplitude is the height between the topmost part of the wave or the peak and the bottommost part of the wave or the trough. When the amplitude is high, the sound will be louder. 
the loudness of sound is proportional to the square of the amplitude and is measured in decibels db the frequency of waves does not change regardless of the medium the human ear can perceive sounds in the range between 20 hertz and 20000 hertz frequency sounds at frequencies less than 20 hertz are infrasonic while sounds at frequencies greater than 20000 hertz are ultrasonic longitudinal nature of sound what are longitudinal waves waves in which the particles of a medium vibrate in a direction parallel or anti parallel to the direction of energy transport are called longitudinal waves parallel would be two vectors like this and anti parallel will be two vectors like this that if the wave travels in this direction then the particles of the medium also move to and fro along this direction only so the displacement of particles is parallel or anti parallel to the direction of the propagation of wave is sound wave a longitudinal wave the sound waves travel in the same direction as that of air particles for this reason they are known as longitudinal waves velocity of sound in different medium let's look at this by comparing how sound propagates through gases liquids and solids in a gaseous medium such as the air around us the molecules will be far apart from each other if sound waves begin in the air they will take some time to cause vibrations in the surrounding air molecules the molecules in liquids such as water will be a bit more closely arranged because there are more molecules to vibrate sound waves require less time to move through the molecules of a liquid in solids such as an iron rod the molecules are much closely packed than they are in either air or water this means the sound waves will require much less time to cause vibrations through the molecules allowing them to travel quickly and for a longer distance based on the molecular arrangements of different media sound will travel more slowly through the air and much more quickly through solids how the speed of sound depend on temperature hmm speed of sound depends on the temperature of the medium higher the temperature of the <laughs> medium more will be the speed of sound in in this case <laughs> air is the oh. medium during summer season the temperature of air increases at higher temperature the molecules of air have more kinetic energy <laughs> hence they vibrate faster leading to increase in speed of sound now during winter season the temperature of air decreases with the decrease in temperature mm. the kinetic energy of the molecules also decreases <laughs> hence the <laughs> molecules do not vibrate much mm. as a result the speed of sound decreases during winter season <laughs> sound wave as a mechanical wave and pressure wave is the sound wave a mechanical wave do you know what a mechanical wave is the mechanical wave is a wave that requires some material medium to travel and as we know a sound wave also requires some medium to travel so yes it is a mechanical wave sound waves are also called pressure waves it is because the sound wave consists of the repeating pattern of high pressure regions called compressions and low pressure regions called rarefactions through the medium